What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation Wannabe. I am out here in Pennsylvania right now and a couple things that have happened on this little bit of a drive got me thinking and it's been something that's been kind of on my mind but today kind of really brings it home. So if you happen to be a truck driver and you've gone into Pennsylvania on the 70 coming out of I don't know what that is, West Virginia, whatever it is, but uh, a lot of construction out there. They have, uh, you know, reduced speed, things like that, you know, somewhere around 45 miles an hour. And 45 might be a little bit conservative, but listen, there's truck drivers going through there like 60, 63, uh, you know, speeds like that. And you can tell because they have the little sign that lights up saying what everybody's speed is going through there. Also, earlier today, I saw a truck. Uh, there was a truck in the left-hand lane, a car behind it, and then there's this other truck coming up behind it. Now, the car had nothing to do with how slow the traffic was going in the left lane, but this truck is literally like maybe a foot off of this car's bumper, and it got me thinking, do you have anything to lose? I mean, they, listen, I just read an article a couple weeks ago. Truck driver got in an accident and they are going after time and money. So my question is, do you have time and money to lose? Now, I'm not sure what the you know financial situation is for anybody this that's uh, watching this video or not and if they have anything to lose as far as money goes. You know, I know that uh everybody has time to lose even if they don't have the money to lose so you know in this article I read truck driver got in an accident they went after the company and they went after the driver now if you have some assets they're coming after them assets too so uh, you know I really wasn't gonna do a video on this just because it was something that personally I was gonna look into myself and I really didn't want to do a video on it until I had all the answers but one thing I was thinking about doing to protect my assets was setting up a trust and putting my real estate uh, properties and everything in that trust so if something like that was to happen they wouldn't be able to touch that equity that I have in those properties I'm not sure what else you could put into a uh, you know into that trust to protect it but listen if there's any truck drivers out there that have anything to lose financially listen and you know what let's talk about the time too spending all that time in jail over some stupidity drive you know what how much time are you going to save driving through a 10 mile uh work zone going 65 as opposed to 45 i don't know but it's not that much time so everybody has time to lose. If you have assets to lose, listen, as soon as I look into it, I'm going to do a video on how to protect your assets should you get in an accident. So, uh, you know, in my last occupation, I dealt with a lot of clients that had their uh, assets and trust accounts. So I might call a couple of those clients that I'm still familiar with or friendly with and uh, look into that a little bit more. I'd been thinking about doing it even before I got into trucking, but now that I know they're not only going after companies, they're going after individuals, I definitely need to look into uh, that. So the point I'm trying to make again is, listen, you know, I hear a lot of truck drivers talk about how much money they make, how much money they make, you know, but I never, I rarely hear about truck drivers talk about the assets they have. So maybe if, you know what, maybe if the average truck driver doesn't have some money and some assets, you know, maybe it's not even worth talking about. But listen, if you got money, protect yourself. Don't drive stupid, first of all, so they don't even try to take your money. Secondly, uh, be like me. Think about looking into this uh trust situation is just a secondary precaution you know i know an llc might be able to protect you a little bit but uh yeah i'm not even 100 sure on that i need to do my homework unlike a lot of people 
I'm going to do my homework on this. I'm not just going to, you know, hope for the best. Hope you don't either. Anyway, hope that I might have uh, sparked a little thought into people that, uh, or sparked a little interest into something that uh, I think is worth looking into for those of you out there that are taking this a little bit more seriously than how fast you can get your freight there. Anyway. I want to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation Wannabe. What's the date today? I don't know. I think it's like the 5th or 6th of November. Marine Corps birthday coming up here in a few days. Semper Fi to all my fellow Marines. I'll check you out on the next video. Drive safe.